tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Uh, if you know what this is, it's scratchers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> number one, one. I, 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 I tried to use one of those. No, no, how about I, uh, it doesn't bound like the normal stick. So it's a bit hard because you have to have some, some kind of intensity para mag register siya eh. And yeah. I'd like to comment for, for, for that sound kasi parang medyo din na-dump down yung intensity. So medyo pumagay ah, sa so, so, magta. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yes, ang ganda so, anong yeah. effect. Ang ganda anong effect niya. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Carlo, uh, uh, I would like to ask you uh, the song for no name. What's the story behind the song? Oh, um... Well, that was one of uh, that was one of uh, David's songs that that has a rather a sad backstory to it. Um, maybe I'll just let him share na lang uh, what exactly okay. that is. But arrangement wise, uh, we took a lot of inspiration from Marvin Gaye's Mercy, Mercy, mm. Mercy. Mm. Good. And uh, personally, <laughs> Marvin Gaye was inspiration yeah, um, also, uh, drum-wise naman, um, that was probably like a product of hanging out with, you know, with a J.R. Roja experience. Uh, I was listening to a lot of uh, Jazz Deport's drumming, and that guy is just, he's a hell of a drummer and percussionist. And, um, yeah, they, they have one of these songs, and yeah, structured, that's how I patterned it. Um, the bass line, was recorded by the bassist naman of uh, Joyride, the Cyrus Dewey. And yeah, it, it really just, you know, uh, gelled well. We were really going for that, um, yeah, like you said, suave feel. Oh, suave feel. Just to put the group in any group. Think, sorry, sorry. It's some kind of group in, eh, uh, suave and a group yung, man, eh. there's some kind of group yung yung pan yeah, 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 that's exactly what we were going for. Um, I remember also when when we were putting it all together, when we received the vocal stems ni David, I, I'd say man, like, we were really blown away. Kami nung producer, uh, si Audrey Jr. Uh, the studio. Mga Polish actors, eh. Yes, yes. Since you mentioned the uh, kwento to ni David, you know, could you call him David? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, David. Hi. Uh, could you tell us something about ano yung story na nito? Song for no name. Um. So it's a it's a pretty. So I'm a big fan of sad songs on parang happy groovy beat. No, I, I guess that's weird. Um. So I was talking to this man, manusha biker, and very tough tough looking guy. You know, big guy. But he was telling me a story about um, his daughter who passed away siguro mga three, four days after birth. And he was just, you know, telling me a story of how, um, uh, you know, he would visit her, you know, they would treat her graveyard like her room. We didn't generate Manila. And then that was just, that was just, you know, stuck in my, stuck in my mind. Na, you know, I, want, I, I wanted to write a song. I wanted to express what he was telling me, you know, just, Sadness and, and and parting, you know. So yeah, sorry, kung <laughs> major different. Oh, you know? Sorry, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay then, okay then. I mean, I mean, you wouldn't expect that it's that, parang lyric, dun sa kind of music na na nilag kusang siya nilagay. Eh. Yeah. So if to be honest, David, you you're also by ano a biker. I meet mo sa kami ng bike or? Uh no, I I used to run a, a, a rehearsal studio dito sa San Jose. Mm-hmm. Yung parang cherry, parang you know all that stuff. Um, hourly rehearsal. So I, I just meet so many different people, and there was it's yeah, there was this this biker gang that just so happened to play you know uh, blues music that would rent my place to go to mga twice a week. So you know you get to know these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not so a biker. So play yung ano? Uh, ano pa ba? Uh, I mean, uh, is it open yung yung rehearsal space mo yan? No, that was a long time ago. That was uh, 2000, 2014 pa yan eh. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we've since uh, shut that business down in 2016. Hmm, sayang. Okay. Yeah, sayang nga. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Uh, sige. Uh, Invite how... her sa group ni Tuffy. Okay, okay. Sige, sige. Ayos, ayos. Okay. Uh, another question. Uh, how, how, did, how did your ano, music career start? Did your band start? Uh, sige, si, si David muna. David. Uh, well, me and Carlo uh, have known each other since high school pa. Siguro, what? 12, 12 years old, 13 years old. Um, so many, many years ago, and uh, you know we were in we were in choir together and all that stuff. I think through the years, what kept us together was music, no. And then um, I would periodically come back to the Philippines, and he would always reach out and make music um, in 2009, 2012, and stuff like that. Um, but then I, I've always wrote, I've always written songs, you know. I. I, I I was into um, hip hop and rap for a long time, and um, you know, just writing a lot of lyrics, which I, I I felt helped me be able to transition to write like R&B songs, rock songs, and all that. And then uh, 2016, Carlo and I met and recorded some demos. Um, and we thought nothing of it, you know. And then um, there's some folks from Offshore. Shout out to Offshore. Uh, Heard, heard our songs and her, it's Carlos friend you know um, Audrey and um, she said you know why don't you guys record this this was a day before and younger and um, yeah and then Carlo recruited uh, Ray Tuffy E-Boy and yeah it just, it just uh, happened from there hmm. so meaning uh, before there, there was no plan of getting this song out but um, uh, you, you you record these songs para for personal consumption. You you put it in as that. Yeah, yeah, just for fun. Oh, okay. For us, music oh. is just parang second, parang fun lang naman, di ba? So. Oh. Yeah. So, siguro, uh, for for other people, uh, ang bisyo nila basketball or or uh, pinom kento. For other people, <laughs> ang bisyo natin is music. Or, yeah, yeah. It's just for oh. something for me and Carlo to share, right? Oh, para we recorded something. Eh, but Carlo, you know, he likes to let people hear what what he does. So I guess it's it helped us out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to call an e-boy, no? Because it's another side of the story where uh, the game CD and the years, no? Because that's not the name of the e-boy. They are the the years, eh? They are the ones who 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 are the no, um, no, because the story of that, you know, uh, yeah, like what you said earlier, um, it's the album was formed. Wala lang for personal consumption talaga ni Carlo ni David. Um, and when Carlo invited me, Tuffy, and C. Ray, the original idea was well, from initial na pag invite sa amin is that we'll be the like session musicians lang. So I didn't mind. Kami ni Tuffy we didn't. Mind. Kami ni Tuffy we go way back sa, sa we met sa church eh. so matagal na ako yung magkakilala and Carlo um, so yun nga so we were invited to to lay in for some tracks lang yun nga personal consumption lang then after the second song that's when kinausap kami ni Carlo one by one to invite us permanently to be officially part of the band na CDM so so we would like to kami kami tatlo we would like to think na kami yung the years kasi kami yung mga matatanda na rin kami <laughs> okay na rin wala wala matanda si Troy okay. so first uh, I'd like to call, ano, uh, comment kasi uh, nabagit ni David kanina sila daw is both way back tapos the church sila no? uh, so e-boy kayo din no? so yung music ba yung yung, yung knowledge ba about, about music came from the choir or mga well, ganon um, hindi naman, not naman purely from church. I think it, it contributed to that. Pero kasi like ako, I started playing the piano when I was like four years old. Uh, I grew up I grew up in a musical family. Tapos yung circle of friends na mom ko were musicians din. Mm-hmm. So, ganun. Si, okay. same, as, same as si Tuffy. But I think it's better na si Tuffy magkwento nun. But I know si Tuffy rin kasi came from a family of musicians din. Uh, in fact, he and his brothers, they, you know, they, they, they jam together often. So, you know, I, I think it's, I think it's so interesting that so many 
famous musicians got their start in church, you know? Uh, exactly. Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, you know? So I, mm. I, I would attribute it all to, the foundation is church music, you know? That's mm. what I attribute it to. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, you know, I would like point out actually David, because I meet also uh, different musicians from different uh, stages. Mm. Uh, and then, what I noticed, Uh, there, there are parang uh, mas magigiling yung mga galing sa church. I'm not sure. For example, uh, for example, chord pattern na lang, no? For, for those people na sanay sa pop, ano yung chord chords sa ulit sa living? Again, again hindi, hindi sila gumagamit sa mga major, diminished into, uh, A7, ganyan, ganyan, yung mga kakaibang chords. So, so no, yun pa lang eh, chord pattern pa lang eh. Then yung, yung, yung time signature, Well, actually, may comment ako sa parts, ha? Yung, oh, yung oh. comment mo about the, the singers from the church or the you know members of the band oh, oh. coming from the church. Baka may opinion niya lang in gen and those are coming from the heavy metal uh, genre. Ah, uh, well, hindi natin alam, hindi natin natanong si Ian Jen, ano? By the way, Ian Jen is a parang ano eh, new bisagra, uh, uh, David. I uh, guess namin, meron to, so, okay, bata pa. So, they, they are pretty long to the death sound, yung mga medyo foreign type, mga uh, heavy, heavy sound. So, yun. Uh, pero hindi natin alam, Carly. They might be, some of them might be, so, ano, <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, I, my, I, my question actually for Carlo is, because it's kind of unique their, their, ano, their, uh, you know, their assemble, you know, assembly of, of music and the way for most of our, ano, viewers, four of the five member of the band are based in the Philippines. It's only David that is based in the U.S. and this is existing even right now. So. In terms of you know promotion, being out there in the market, or being seen by their fans, I like to know uh, from the, your fans' uh, point of view, who is CD in the years? Oh, uh, maybe you know, uh, Sir Charlie's answer that question honestly. Um, CD in the years, kami kami uh, as guys member. We're just a bunch of guys uh, who never really outgrew our love for music. Uh, most of us are our dads, and we just come together as a group in our spare time. And uh, what we do is just we use whatever is on the table, you know. David writes the songs. Um, he Ray will put in a pattern to it. He e boy will come up with something. And uh, yeah, it's it's usually just about. Um, you know, the songs in particular, it's usually just about music, it's, um, about life and mistakes and learnings that come with it. For the fans, so when I, <laughs> I like to think of us as uh, writing songs, um, siguro for the demographic that we're in, you know. Um, but I think the way David writes it also, it, it speaks to people outside of the intended audience. Uh, yeah, I told you know, that um, some people in, in the younger generation, you know, like uh, my kid, um, even David, so I it kind of speaks to them as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, like, I think that's, I think that's, uh, that's who we are from, from my perspective. Speaking uh, of fans, oh, speaking of fans, uh, we now have uh, Rev, Rev Tan, uh, James Moy, and Richard Manalo uh, listening right now. Uh, yeah, no comment. Uh, hello, uh, welcome to Nipam. Uh, yeah, uh, and then uh, yeah, a question for uh, Tuffy. Hi, uh, yeah. Oi, uh, Tuffy. Uh, Sino yung mga influences nyo uh, sa, sa band? Uh, uh, yung, for example, if I look at your playlist sa uh, iPhone or, or whatever music player, anong makikita ko dyan? Sino yung mga naging influence nyo? 
Okay. Um, th- that's a very interesting question um, because uh, we're individually we all have our influences. Uh, David mentioned he was he, he has more of an R and B background. You have Ray, who's also more into uh, blues, um, and then me myself, uh, I, I, I like um, uh, funk, and it, it's yeah. it, as a whole. Eboy uh, likes Toto, so we all have our own individual influences. But um, what's interesting is we pull our influences and uh, make it sound the way. Try to figure out what fits, what works. Um, so for us, it now becomes a process. Trying to figure out what makes, what brings out the songs that David writes. Mm-hmm. So it, it's using, it, it's putting little bits of ourselves. It's putting um, our own influences, our own voice into what what he wrote. So mm-hmm. it's not. It's not an influence of, of, of a band as a whole, but it's our individual influences uh, and bringing coming out in the music. Hmm. Uh, could you say that uh, is it also the reason? Because uh, while we're talking, while I'm talking to uh, David and uh, Carlo, sabi ko medyo suave, medyo groovy. And then you mentioned the, 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 the you, your influence heavily influenced by punk. You know? If punk is a very percussive. Uh, genre, no? so, is that also the reason why you bring out your funk influences? You put it in, in uh, the music uh, in the years, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, that's important. That's important. So we all, again, we all try to bring out. And for me, it's and this is just sharing um, my my own personal experience and the whole process. It's it's like one of my influences is um, is Billy Sheehan and mm, the way the Mr. way Big. the way yeah Mr. Big and the way yeah. Billy Sheehan plays his bass is very melodic. It, it tries to sing along with with um, with what's what's being played at the same time holding its own foundation. And this is something that I try to input in uh, vacation um, I, I, I this is one of the songs I, I believe will be we may be playing a bit later uh, so that that's but that's my part of the, the influence but then again you have um, Carlos influence you have Ray's influence you have E-Boy's influence on top of uh, David's influence in writing music by the way speaking of bass guitar I, I like your uh, fretboard Black oh, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 thanks. It's a uh, beautiful five five string square. Uh, yeah, jazz yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it. You're gonna make some time to do it. boy. I mean, yeah, I I, I, I agree with Tuff. Ganon naman talaga. Um, kaya when you're when you're younger, kaya you have all the time to do. Music, if you really want it, but when you're already like in our age, na na family, na may responsibilities, it's really wanting it. Because if we, 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 Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.